it is that time of the year. People are lighting diyas, lights, candles, everything basically. And the energy of this festival is so huge that you cannot ignore it. And I was actually having a conversation the other day and this person found out that I spend my Diwali alone. And they were shocked. And I get it because, you know, it's all about being with your family, going home, being with your loved ones. And for whatever the reason, if you are spending Diwali alone, I want you to know that it's natural to miss your family. That's okay. But being alone on Diwali is also a huge, huge opportunity. And the reason I'm saying that is, I think, because of this whole Diwali festive season and the whole madness and the energy, we somehow forget that actually it is the best time to tap into what you what you would call your aura and your energy and cleansing that, right? Because what do we do when we think of Diwali, right? We know Diwali is coming up. First thing is Diwali cleaning. People are cleaning their homes. People are uh, going out and buying new stuff. And what does that actually do? What, what, what happens when you clean your room, for example, right? You feel good. There is that clean energy. And I think when I think of Diwali, I mean, of course, I don't know all the pujas that are supposed to happen and uh, all the mantras that come with it. But I do understand energy and I understand the aura. I understand that it's all about praying from your heart. And... This is what I have been doing since the past nine years. Yes, I have spent every Diwali alone. And no, that does not mean that I am lonely because those are two very separate things. We've talked about it in a separate video. I'll not get into it right now. But what I will get into is you can, this is what you can do if you want to harness this energy that is around you right now. So, yeah, I know Diwali is here and that basically means that you're going to just blink your eye and there'll be Christmas and the year is over, right? Kind of, yes, but also no. What happens around this time is I feel it is the best time for you to analyze. It's the best time for you to sit with yourself. And when I say sit with yourself, I mean sit with what is it that you're feeling about yourself, about the year and the things that you achieved, the things that maybe you did not succeed in, the things that worked out for you, the things that, you know, you have to be grateful for. It all matters. And the first thing I want you to do is, no matter who you are, accept your reality the way it is right now. If you're spending Diwali alone, okay. If you're with your family, that's also okay because I don't think any Indian family comes without its Kalesh in the festive season. We all have something going on. And it may be crazy for some, it may be uh, quieter for other people, but we need to first and foremost accept where we are in life. And when you do that, I want you to do that realistically. I want you to do that not in just one frame of mind because... When you're thinking of things from one frame of mind, you're only going to see, if you're thinking just bad, you're only going to see bad. If you're thinking just good, you're only going to be in that delusional, toxic positivity, wala good part, right? We want to come into the middle, zoom out from the good or the bad and think where you are today, just accept it. You don't always need to try and change things just for the heck of it. And this, and, and I think, the festive season is most especially for that, for just sitting with yourself and accepting. And yes, of course, being grateful for what we have. And so that's what I do. That's the first thing that I do in my Diwali cleanse. After cleaning my home, I just sit with myself and I ask myself, okay, what is it that we've achieved? What is it that we succeeded in? What is it that we did not succeed in? And that's okay. The why we can get into later. What is it that we wanted from this year? And what is it that this year has given us? Everything. And maybe some lessons that you must have learned, write them down. Some, uh, you know, surprises that this year came by and you did not really anticipate that, write it down. 
and for whatever reason if you have yet not done your diwali cleanse and i mean that literally and emotionally do that right now because i think i spoke about this in a different video also yeah it was the video about how to be more attractive when you tap into that clean energy there your aura becomes irresistible your it becomes so much more attractive and it's really not about how you look on the outside it's always and always about how clean you feel on the inside right and when i say clean i genuinely mean even your house i mean taking down the old stuff putting the new stuff all of this is going to get you in a mood it's going to get you to feel good about yourself so if you've not done your diwali cleaning do it what are you waiting for and it's okay because here's the thing all throughout the year you may procrastinate about cleaning but this is what diwali does it gives you that opportunity of now is the time right so there's no need for you to procrastinate there's no need for you to be like uh, oh i'll do it tomorrow because the time is now and that's the first lesson i think of this video is about the time is now get up just if you're going to lie down in your bed all day feeling bad about yourself that is what is going to end up happening but you can you can choose you can choose right now to get up clean that uh, corner or clean that room or whatever that is that is bothering you because what that does is it makes you and this is what i mean i've been cleaning since morning and once you start getting into it it feels it's so therapeutic it's one of the best things that you can give to yourself this diwali now coming to the next point now that we've accepted whether we are alone or with family just accept it whether there's kalesh or it's quiet accept it whether we achieved something or did not achieve something accept it and here's the truth you actually can create your own reality and when it comes to diwali i don't think there's any household that is doing their prayers and not praying to lakshmi ji right <laughs> it is we we love it we lo- who does not love money who does not love wealth and the thing is it is very your own to create i think now is the time for us to change our relationship with money it's not something that is scarce first of all it's not something that you don't that you're not worthy of everything that you think you're not worthy of it's not true it's just not true you can right now change who you are you can change your reality we've talked about how to be your dream version by 2025 it's a separate video we've spoken about all of this and the only reason i'm making this video right now is to just remind you that you do have that power you actually have that power you're just denying yourself that power that's it that's that's what you're doing right now if you're in the place of i don't know how to do this blah 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 how will i do it but i failed this time so i'm going to fail again no you're not we spoken about the 100 achievements list we spoken about a shift in perspective and right now is the best time to tap into that energy if you want to change the way you look at yourself and that's the only way that you're going to change how you look at the world is how you look at yourself right or how you feel about yourself if you want to do that change in your perspective now is the time because look it's very easy to you know scroll through instagram and be like oh this one's having this party oh that one's dressed up so much better oh this one's doing that and you know look if you may have your relatives around you saying that usne ye kar liya usne wo kar liya look at that person's decoration look at that person's party it's too much this is all of this does not matter at the end of the day it does not matter because on the outside it may look like this person has, is like so happy maybe they're you know posting amazing pictures of themselves so let them you don't know what they are actually going through nobody knows but what you do know is yourself what you do know is that i if i decide today to change my story i can and that is your power that is something that nobody can take away from you and the reason i'm telling you this today is because diwali is the best time to change that mindset to 
and that's the reason right diwali reset what i mean by diwali reset is just changing your mindset towards firstly towards yourself your self concept what is it that you think about yourself change that perspective anything that is not serving you in achieving whatever it is that you have want to achieve change it it's that simple it is genuinely that simple and it will not happen until you've not accepted where you are in real terms not the good not the bad and then you actually have two months still left in the year and i'll tell you what even if it's like even if you're thinking you know what i'm going to change next year one day is not going to change it from just because it's 31st december to 1st january it does not mean you've changed your life and something you know something great is going to happen but it will happen if you do it every day and this whole festive season and this festive vibe it comes with so much love it comes with so much energy and now is the time for you to tap into that energy i don't know what people do what i do is i just stay home and i be with myself and i do my meditation and i do my stuff and maybe it's something that other people find very bizarre but it is something that works for me so whatever it is that works for you whether it is spending time with your loved ones whether it is spending time with yourself do it it is the festive season right you don't have to go to work for at least those 3 days you and then there's the weekend so there is a lot of time you can start by cleaning your house start by getting those flowers that you want to get start by just having that diwali mithai that you want to have you know and then get into the fact of what is it that i truly want where where is it that i'm actually stuck what is it that i can do for myself i do not care what other people can do for me i'm sure they can do many amazing things i'm sure if i want a friend to help me they will but what is it that i can do for myself and if i'm suffering then what is it what is my contribution to that suffering and be honest to yourself about it right meditate towards it you do get your answer it's just that we are not always ready to accept that answer because that answer comes in different forms right it may come through a person it may come through a sign it may come through a thought you just have to be ready to receive whatever the answer that this universe is trying to tell you and i am not really a religious person i think i think you know that about me already but i am very very spiritual i am very very accepting of the fact that there is a higher energy guiding us guiding everyone it's not only it's just that you have to open yourself to listen to it and rather if you don't believe in anything outside of you then you have to believe something inside of you the the intuition you, you you know you can call it your intuition you can call it your higher self whatever it is you want to call it does not matter but there is an energy and right now in this festive season is the best time for you to tap into this energy and say thanks if you want to or ask your questions if you want to also i think we as a generation we are so caught up with everything on the outside right we are so caught up with what is this one doing what is that one doing and then there's instagram and then there's all of this whatever you know the social the the social act, uh, aspect of it and sometimes we have social obligations and we have to go to certain parties and that's okay i just want you to find at least one evening for yourself where you can sit down and tell yourself that you are the best there is no it's not it's you're not a you know ongoing project that always has to you you always have to fix something it's not that's not true you're already the best version of yourself that you could be you are that can you be better yes absolutely but it's not in the perspective of something needs fixing because you lack something that that's why you need to be better you know because when we think about self growth and when we think about bettering ourselves sometimes we are coming from that perspective of oh something's lacking in me i need to do better or something is wrong with me so i need to do better and i want you to shift that perspective and whether it is let's say you are an introvert and you want to be social in these social obligations that we have i am a very anti social person by the way 
and i can tell you this as a guarantee if you keep identifying yourself as this introvert person you are going to keep behaving like the introvert person everything that we tell ourselves that we are that is exactly who we become and that is it that is the fact of life so i want you to sit down with yourself let's say let me take this introvert example okay what about social gatherings makes you anxious is it because you think that people are judging you is it because you think that you are not funny enough or intelligent enough and or is it because if you feel like if you do something dumb then people are going to remember it for the rest of your life the short answer is none of it is true none of it absolutely not even one single thing because people are not really thinking about you as much as you are thinking about yourself first of all secondly if there is this social anxiousness that comes right and you don't know where that anxiousness is coming from you are always going to be stuck in putting on a face and putting on that confidence and there's nothing with there's nothing wrong with fake it till you make it that's not what i'm saying i'm saying is till you don't get to the root of your problem to the root cause of why you feel the way you feel you're never going to be able to change it and that is why i am coming back to sit with yourself ask yourself and be honest to yourself what is it whatever it is that you're struggling with in your life right now why are you doing it and i mean we were just using the introvert as an example and sure some people are naturally like that and if you just own up to it and be honest about it people around you you're going to see they're going to be far more welcoming than you expected because we think that oh my god this person is not going to understand where where i'm coming from and actually everybody's been at this place some point or the other we think our problems are the most unique problems in the world but people have gone through something similar they can understand there there is empathy i think is the biggest human connector right even if they've not gone through something similar they have empathy if you say it in a manner where you're not uh, sorry about it but you own up to it i can guarantee you people are going to start receiving you in a different way because they will see that honesty in your aura that honesty in your energy that okay this person is not trying to put up a face and this person is just being who this person is authentically i don't like this word authentically but yeah authentically and go out dress up have fun it's diwali happy diwali um and i think when we think about i mean diwali is the festival of festival of lights right and if i have to you know use the light wala example then yeah light up that light inside of you and it it will only light up when you allow it to when you're too stuck up into oh this one hurt me and this one doesn't like me and what do i do to get this one's validation and what do i do to uh, just change myself and i i hate myself this is not going to help that light inside of you is going to keep dimming that light but if you say things like if you say things like you know i believe in myself i love myself i accept where i am today i am thankful for where i am today i am sure wherever i am one day there was a time that i dreamt of this right I, and this is true for me this is actually true for me where i am today i used to pray i used to pray every night for what i have whatever i have today and and i'm sure that that has to be true for you also right wherever you are in life there must be let's say go back 10 years back and think that did i not actually pray for this and it's okay if your answer is no because sometimes you know we over exaggerate our future and be like oh when i turn 25 i'm going to be a millionaire you know it's okay but there is still a part of you that has achieved something that you wanted so focus on that part and don't focus on the things that have not happened yet because they will happen eventually when you work hard at it and when you keep at it and you don't give up it will eventually happen it's not like it's never going to happen but we have to see what has actually happened 
what you have actually achieved and that's a huge deal whether you want to accept it or not it is a huge deal so give yourself a little bit yeah and light that fire in you light up don't dim your light for anybody else don't dim your light just because people think you're extra or people think you're too shy let people think whatever the fuck they want to think let them it does not matter because i'll tell you what people are thinking more about themselves than they're thinking about you and that's a fact okay also don't take yourself that seriously <laughs> okay i guess i have covered everything that i wanted to cover happy diwali and i hope you do tap into this diwali mindset this diwali energy and you can use it to your best to your very best happy diwali i will see you in the next one bye